Okay, so now that we've got the connector there, in the parts list here, there are two things we want. This is called the cobbler. And then down here, we have a breadboard. Now you've all seen breadboards before. So you can take the breadboard out of the case. Talk a little bit more about the breadboard later. So let's just move this up here and this back. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect this ribbon cable to the breadboard. How do we do that? Well, that's where this comes in, the cobbler. So if we tear this off, and we open this up, we'll see that now what we have is this T, and you'll see what's listed on here are all of the pins on the GPIO bus, all right? So the pins on the GPIO, the GPIO pins are all broken out right to here, all right? So, when we connect this on here, then you'll notice the cobbler has a slot in it. This has a slot in it. So when we plug it in this way, now that means, when we go over here, we can plug this on the breadboard. And now we have access to each of the GPIO pins on here.